What's going on you guys? Griffin here with Country Slickers YouTube page. We're going to be doing an unbox and installation on a new product that our friends over at Oxbeam sent over to us. Been looking for a little while now to get some good uh, quality rock lights to put into our Ford Tremor, our 2023 Ford Tremor. Ford actually outfits this truck with all the upfitter switches on the top dash different amp draws, different fuses on each one, but we haven't had anything to hook to until now. So been looking around, contacted Oxbeam. They reached out and said, you know, we've got a really good product. Um, so we're going to do a little unboxing video, show you uh, what comes in the box, how to install it and, uh, and what, what we're looking at once, uh, once the finished products here, hopefully these are nice and bright. They've got a really cool design, excited to show them to you. And uh, yeah, so Oxbeam, thank you very much for, uh, for sending that over. We're gonna take a look right now, um, but let's let's get into it. Oh. Grabbing my bear spray. We are way out here. We need to be on that side. Of course, today we were going down a trail. It's boring. Fix. We're good. Yeah, good. <laughs> Rim exploded. Look at this. In business. Minus the shock. <laughs> At this time, we'd like to give a shout out to our sponsors for making this YouTube channel possible. So this is packaging, so let's open it up without further ado. Let's make sure we've got uh, got all our components in here. We've got uh, tons and tons of padding here, which is nice. Looks like we've got a uh, user manual, which is good. Remote control, I probably won't be using that. I'll probably use the Bluetooth mode on my phone, but that is nice to have. And then looks like we've got, so each of these will come in a two pod pack, I believe. This is the eight, uh, the eight beam kit. So you can actually see with these lights, it's nice. So they're not a straight flat design. And when I say flat, what I can show you here, I've actually got them on my side by side. Um, but you can see those, see how they just are flat. So you have to have them facing a certain direction versus these ones, they have this kind of, uh, kind of a pyramid look to them. So whenever they shine, they put the light in two separate directions. That's pretty sweet. Probably gonna put some on the truck. We've got eight of them, so we're probably gonna put one in each wheel well, so that'll be four. Two on the front, and then two on the very back as well, so that the whole truck lights up. So it should be, should be a pretty good look. Let's see what else we've got in here. So that's our lights. Got one, two, three, four of those. Looks like they come with all the mounting hardware as well as the bases for that. That's good. We've got our Bluetooth controller, I'd imagine. Yeah, so that's gonna go underneath our hood for mounting up our, uh, our wireless controller. And then, yeah, there's our other eight right there. Perfect. So, and then is there something in here? What is this? This is just a filler, I think. Okay, perfect. So four lights there, four lights there. Uh, hopefully there's tons of cabling on these, but I'm gonna go ahead and bust those open. And then, like I said, we'll be putting these on uh, on the Tremor, probably front and back. I'm thinking something in here in the wheel well, so this can all light up. And then we'll also have a couple along the front so that whenever we're crawling at night, we've got some lighting that, uh, that can go around the whole truck and we can use that, especially if we're gonna be fixing a tire or fixing a flat in the dark. Um, being that we're in the upper mountain ranges here, we get darkness by like 4 35 o'clock at night so it's really uh it's always always dark and uh, we can always always use a little bit of extra lighting so we're going to go ahead get these uh get these mounted up and uh, we'll start running some wires and then i'll show you how it's uh, how it's all going together and obviously once it's on okay so looks like on these lights so they actually have two lights there's only two that do have this long connector that's one-sided and then they all daisy chain together so you have one one here and then if you look at, say for example, something like this, so you're gonna connect your light, one light to your other light, and then it just all connects in series around the hole. So it's important when you're putting this kit in together, you're gonna wanna use these lights for the back wheel wells if you're putting them in, because everything else is gonna have to run forwards from that. So we're actually gonna start in the back wheel wells and then run forward with everything, just to keep everything simple. All right, so we got one side installed. Still have to do the other side, but so we have one, 
in the corner there. See my Christmas zip ties, aren't those nice? Anyways, one there, and then on the other side we have this guy as well. Really love that light pattern. It's gonna put the light up and down, which I think is sweet. But we've got that all hidden there going in. Hopefully it's not too obstructive. It's well out of the way of the wheel well. So I think unless I'm fully turned and fully flexed, I don't think that's ever gonna hit. And then I've got one, see if I can get you guys a photo of it here. Do, 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 do. Right. I've got one up there and that's underneath the running board. So even when we're off-roading, if we're scraping, nothing should catch there. I've got all the wires tucked away. So that's there, good to go. And then finally, just on the back here, we have the other one just in the rear wheel well. So, and I've got that guy actually drilled right into the fender. And nice thing about having a Ford is that it's aluminum, so it's not gonna rust. And they even have this little hole here to route the wiring. So that should be good. I'll still probably zip tie this guy up and out of the way over to here. But uh, yeah, that should be good. I'm not, uh, not too worried about that at all. I think that'll be, should be perfect. So we'll do the other side the exact same. And then uh, I actually need my truck today. This has taken a little longer than I wanted just to get the wiring cleaned up all nice. So we're gonna take a little break here and I might have to come back to this tomorrow, but at least we can, uh, we got the one side done, the placement's good. So now I just have to reverse it on the other side. And we'll be good to go. All right, you guys. So got the switches all wired up. You guys can see here, we got a couple under there. Looks good. Got our one at the back here. Nice lighting and obviously on the other side it's going. So yeah, overall pretty nice product. Super, super easy to put together. Um, I did have a little issues wiring it into my tremor only because I put it uh, I put it on the wrong switch. So I guess for the upfitter switches, there's actually two split uh, wire looms underneath your battery. You have one that's powered and then one that's a, that is a, uh, sorry, a pass through to the, uh, to the passenger side uh, footrest. So as long as you're wired into the right one and you've got power, it works really well. So cool product, uh, and I'm just gonna wait till nighttime and I'm gonna get you guys some shots of this at night to see how bright they are. But so far, I don't know, looks uh, looks pretty bright to me. Again, we're only in the daylight here though, so. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty cool. I've just got them set at orange right now, but you can do a bunch of different modes. Actually, I'll grab the controller here and show you guys. So you can do it either via Bluetooth or you do get a remote control with it. But if you guys go here, you can go to there. That's uh, the sparkling mode there. You can go to uh, a little quicker. I think they've got a couple others as well. There's this guy. And then if you just want to go solid colors, um, that's easy too. You can just go, uh, there's blue red orange mine will probably stay on either orange or white they do have a white mode that's good for just night running and lights you can see how much light that gives off on the bottom here i like that actually quite a bit it's kind of cool the way i've got them set up they come through the back pass under your foot wells so that's kind of cool oh, that purple's kind of nice as well neat but uh, anyways yeah so i'll leave mine on probably the orange right there but right on Fully installed and uh, looks really good and I can just show you guys here it's super cool on the tremors or I think you get them on the super duties as well but when you go into the car these switches are already pre-done so you can just have them up here on your upfitters so that's off and then that's on so they give you six of these so you can wire up some light bars or whatever else too so pretty cool anyways you guys I am gonna get you a couple more shots here at night I'll insert those right now Uh, and for those of you guys that are still watching, thank you for watching. Appreciate the support. If uh, you guys are looking at these aux beam lights, they look pretty cool. You guys can see here at night, 
They look awesome. They're very bright. They got a bunch of different modes. They hook up via Bluetooth, so you don't always have to have a controller with you, which is super nice. Um, but yeah, good job, Oxbeam. You guys did uh, get a good job on this product, and uh, I definitely would recommend these two uh, to put them in. So take a look, you guys. I'll make sure to include a link in the description below. And uh, until the next time, country slicker out of here.